I've um, actually analyzed the, um, the, the gender education gap basically in the developing world. And uh, I find that there have been some work to, uh, done on the, the cross impact of the menstruation and the hygiene. Like for example for the girls, actually if uh, when they reach the age of menstruation, if there is no good and clean water to uh, wash, then they will face some sorts of hygiene problems which are often uh, prone to the infections, diseases, odor and spots so that they will have some sort of health and psychic problems at school because of the teasing of the boys or some sort of health problems and this will constitute some sort of uh, uh, external costs for the households uh, to, for them to send their daughters to school so that the less enrollment at school would actually constitute some sort of gender gap in the longer run. Uh, the previous research have actually analyzed a lot about this, but the only uh, contribution that I made on top of the previous research is that I do have a very fine data set from China, straight in, uh, to nine provinces uh, for about 15 years. That is a panel data, so I can do the within analysis. And at the same time, I do have this instrument uh, variable uh, estimation, which allowed me to test the endogeneity of access to water. All these uh, methodological uh, issues, I mean, that the problem is solved, and I find that the result is robust and, and I can I actually just find that uh, the impact of poor access to water uh, would have a, a, a negative uh, impact on the schooling of girls right over menstruation. So uh, the best way then I, 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 I think to help the girls with their education is actually providing them with good hygiene facilities after they get the age of menarche, so that in the develop, vast developing world we might be able to uh, just uh, minimize this gender gap in education in the secondary school. Thank you very much.